waiting. I bought this baby on the third, and I've been waiting for this baby for. Let's see, today's now the fifteenth. About three, two weeks, two maybe two and a half weeks. Oh, I forgot the other sitting. Oh well. <laughs> Never ever do that. But I'm trying to hold the camera and cutting this at the same time, I have no choice. As long as I'm careful, watch, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I can't wait to see my baby. I'm excited. Oh, and I have to thank, I can't think what his name was on YouTube. But he made me fall in love with this gun. Or pew pew. This is, that is seriously... Dude, that is sick. Oh, that thing is beautiful. I'm definitely have to put that up in my care. Now I just gotta find out what kind of attachments I can do, but I got some ideas what I'm gonna do with this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I will put a link in the description. First actual, well, actually, this is my first time buying an airsoft gun. I got my dad's uh, pump-up BB gun rifle, and my brother, he gave me a CO2 handgun, which is pretty sweet. Then I had a couple uh, air, not really airsoft, more like, I guess they're airsoft, they're like spring-loaded. But this is my actual first I'm just too excited. <laughs> Is it? Oh, oh, I seen it. Oh, the stock looks amazing. Oh, look how beautiful this thing is. Comes with instructions and everything. Oh. It's like Christmas Day for me. I'm going to pause this for a second. Oh my god, this thing has a semi-auto, full auto, and safety. Oh. Plastic there, that feels like plastic maybe. The only thing I don't like about the M4s, one thing, is this up here, but I think I could change this out. So, my idea is with this gun is changing some stuff out. Like this part here is not going to be yellow. This top part ain't going to be yellow. Some of these buttons is probably going to be yellow. What's on the blue is probably going to be red. That's going to be blue. This is going to be either red or blue. Oh. Holy God, this thing's heavy. What is this? Huh? So, thing, I think that's a... Uh, Cleaner rod, maybe? I think. I don't know how to look at the instructions. But this baby looks beautiful. Oh, good lord, it's heavy. Put the magazine down. Oh, my goodness. Can I actually do this? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is slick. I love it. I love it. Same. So you pull this back. Man, that is sweet. What are the buttons for? That's pro I definitely need a GoPro now. That is cool. So what this exactly does. So, it ain't really a review on this gun because I don't know anything really a, too much about it. 
besides full auto, semi auto, oh yeah, semi auto and full auto right here. The battery should be maybe in the stock. What's that? Oh. Right there, I think. That is a string bar. I can hang it around my neck if I want to. Oh, it's on me. This is sweet. I want to change all... I want to see if I can do anything customizing to this. Like, where I can change the burrow if I want to. The, I still don't know what this is called. That's sad. That I don't know what this is called. Mm. I know this is the burrow. Don't know if I can take that off, but I'm going to leave it. That way, nobody thinks this is real because it looks real. I love it. I love it a lot. And this is where you can change up the speed, I think, or or something like that, and you can make it full auto really well. That must be the Meg release. Yeah. What is that? That is like a dust cover. I, 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 I believe you. I could be wrong. I, I, I can't remember exactly, and then you just. That's the battery? I think that's where the battery goes, yeah. I you charge it. Cool. Oh, I'll have to pull the battery out. I have to see where the battery goes in first. What the heck was that? There, box. My next goal is get a scar or soft. So you can load the BBs like that. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that my third airsoft would be? Yeah, obviously, don't point out your face or anybody else's face. Make sure you got. Protect the gear and all that stuff when you do right there. So where is the battery? Oh. Okay, so open the bit for fast. Yeah, okay, so I can do six millimeter BBs. About three hundred and fifty BBs. Holy snakers. Which leave that alone. Cause I don't wanna lose the BBs because it's all I got. I can make like a a net kind of thing. Huh. Oh. If I know where the battery goes. Let me see this. In there? Yeah. Is that ain't the battery? Press with your fingers. So this, I gotta look into this. Somehow this pops off. Do you have to take like the no? You leave the stuff on it. Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Sometimes the battery can be in the stock too, but it looks like mine's right here because I can see the wires right there, and it looks like I can see the battery too. So I gotta figure out how to open this. I'm gonna have to use two hands. So, it was really hard to do with two hands. I, don't, I wish I had a GoPro mount. I could just use the GoPro. But I don't know if my GoPro is even that. If it's even charged, but it's a doubt. So, you gotta pull this back and then you can open this up. And I don't see my battery in there. So, either it's in there or my stock. So, give me a second and I'll show you guys where it's at. So, I don't know where the battery's at. <laughs> I know the motor's in here, which is pretty sweet. Battery is not in here. It says it's battery's included, but I think it's stuck in here. But the thing is, for the life of me, I can't get this open. So I don't know. I don't want to risk hurting it. But I'm going to see if I can find anything online about this. Maybe I can, because I know there's no YouTube things on this gun. It was besides one video. I'm the second. So now I gotta figure out where the heck the battery is. But if someone knows where the battery is on this, or they just think give me the battery, I, I really don't know. I mean, I got the BBs, I got the magazine, I got this, but no charging brick or anything for it, so I really don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit more detail on this gun, on this gun or air, airsoft here. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube or not, but hopefully I don't get. Well, I don't know, I'm not getting paid, so it doesn't really matter. So, this is the Matrix. Um, 
can't read his name from here. Oh, I think it's called the Matrix, I believe. I love the little card it gave me though. That is sweet. I do love that. Just don't hurt it. So, there is no battery included with this gun. When I looked online, it said battery included in the uh, one description part. And there's no battery in it oh, at all. Oh, I love Yes, yeah, so do I. I love this gun. This is my new Optimate favorite M4 of all time. But I'm wondering if I can change like the top piece here because I don't really don't care for the M4 style ones. No, no offense to anybody, this is my opinion. And this is a tremendous, beautiful gun. And I love it. I don't care if they're already sit, but I'm definitely going to leave it for my city use. But I was thinking about taking this stuff off to paint paint the yellow. But after I just found out this is a Matrix Custom gun, I think is what it's called. I'll show you guys here in a second where I got it from. It's from Evilic.com, I think. I'm saying that wrong. But... The mag is pretty, painted up, nicely matched. It's got a ready little tip. And I think down here is you can wind it up, the spring, and then it shoots out. Makes it shoot faster or something like that. So that's going to be fun. Definitely need to get more BBs now because that's not going to be enough. But I got to make a little, like a little fishing net kind of thing where I can catch these little BBs into it. Shoot target practice and stuff. And for all in all, it's a really nice gun. Um, so far, what I know nothing about some guns. I know that's a dust cover. Bring this, pull this back, and then inside here you got the looks like number plastic spring. Or plastic parts and stuff like that. No big deal. Don't not know what this is for. <laughs> but it's nice I can take this off and I can put like maybe a, a scope on it or a red dot. That'd be sweet. I don't know what this is for though. It has numbers on it. Four, five on it. Six, three, and a four again. So I don't know if that raises this up or what, or what this does. I, I don't know. I know this is your... Oh, I found out what it's called. Now I forget what it was called. <laughs> I know this is the barrel. Handguard? I believe. I know this is part of your sights as well. And to get your battery out, you have to go like this. Both You gotta use both hands on your gun. And then you just pop it out. It makes it easier when you got two hands. Just cover back on. Full safety, which is pretty sweet. At least I think that's what that does too. And then on the other side, you see that button come out. Like right there. Not sure what this does. I think that's just there for looks. But it's pretty sweet. You got your safety. This is semi. And then auto, which you just hold the trigger and full autos. So sick. I love this gun. But now I gotta find out what kind of battery I can run. I do not like the nickel nickel batteries because I run RC trucks. And I run LiPo in all my trucks. But I wanna know if I can do the same thing. Oh, see, you got a serial number. Cool. I wonder if I can do the same thing with this aerosol. That's why I want to do my research before I buy the wrong battery. Say I buy the 9.6 volt, I think it takes. And this says 8.4 volt. But online, I'll show you guys now. Not sure what the name is, e Evike. Dot com, I think this is a matrix matrix custom Gundam inspired airsoft m4 
which I'll probably just put the title like this maybe or I actually might just do the full title right here that'd be the name of this title video so if anybody was looking for this gun well here's a full video that can somewhat help you out on it I don't know much about it but it does take a 9.6 volt battery butterfly type recommended it doesn't say exactly what kind of battery to use like can I use nickel can I use um, light bulb I don't know let me know what you think, you think and we'll go from there so I'll put links in the description for this and see y'all later